Well, hello everyone. Welcome back. You know, in this lesson, we're going to be talking about what credit utilization is. Now, what is credit utilization? Well, listen, credit utilization is the ratio of outstanding balances to credit limits. And you're like, well, well, CJ, if it's outstanding, what's, what's the big deal? I'm doing a great job. <laughs> outstanding as in you still owe, right? Outstanding balances to your credit limits. It's the ratio of outstanding balances to credit limits. And, you know, let me give you an illustration. Let's say you've been given a credit card that has a credit limit of $1,000, okay? And you go and invest your money in some investment vehicle, maybe it's a class, so that you could better understand finances, right? Like Velocity Banking class, let's just say, okay? $300, all right, balance, okay? And you've got a credit limit of $1,000. What is the credit utilization ratio? 300 to 1,000? Can we simplify it more? Can we say it's 30%? Absolutely, it's 30%. And how I got that is I did an equation. And that equation is balance, you take your balance, and you divide it by your credit limit. So you see, all I did was I took the $300 and I divided it by the $1,000, which was our credit limit, and the $300 being our balance, and came out with the number 30%. Now, if you're looking to do this at home, maybe long division, you don't like calculators, all right? 300 divided by 1,000, your balance, divided by credit limit, and of course put your numbers in there, you're going to come out with a decimal number, 0.3, then you're going to multiply that by 100, and you're going to get 30 for 30%, all right? One thing that we need to realize is how our consumer credit is factored, actually, right? What is the scoring model? to our, our credit, you know, our credit report, our credit scores. What's that scoring model like? And I want to show you something, okay, and get a close-up of what this model looks like. It's the credit scoring model, all right, and you're going to see that it's actually made up of your age of credit, your payment history, your credit utilization, inquiries, you know, your credit inquiries, like when you go to the car dealership, right? And they're like, listen, you know, what's your, what's your social security number? You know, hey, they're going to do a hard pull, and that's going to be on your credit report, and that can affect your credit score six to ten points, give or take, all right? And so we have all of these things, and also the mix of credit, okay? Um, do you have installment loans? Do you have credit cards? You know, you, it's good to have a mix of credit accounts. Now, what is the percentage that we're dealing with here? Well, on the payment history, okay, the payment history, that's 35% of your score, folks. Okay? That's 35% of your score. Now, do you remember taking exams? Okay? And they actually put the weights of the different sections in that exam, right? This is the same way. It's like they were almost training us, right? Credit utilization, 30% of your score. Inquiries and mix of credit accounts. It's going to be 10% each. What about the age of credit? Well, the age of credit is going to be 15%. Now, if you look at this, you may say, well, I, uh, I'm over on my, my credit utilization. Okay, all right. Well, 
can you go under your credit utilization? Are you going to stay over? Is that the only thing that is affecting your credit score? What is your vision? Are you endeavoring to pay another loan down so that you can free up more cash flow to either pay another loan or to go into investments? You can do that, right? Don't be concerned about all of these percentages. You should know all of these percentages, right? What it does is just gives you a map. Okay, what do I need to focus on? If your weak spot is payment history and credit utilization, then you can focus on your payment history, getting that caught up, and then you can focus on your credit utilization next. If your vision is to pay down this mortgage or pay down this auto loan, well, and you know your credit utilization is going to take a hit, well, just make sure your payment history, your age of credit, your mix of credit, and your inquiries are good. All right? And same with anything that you can take from this pie chart. You can mold it to what you would like it to be, right? If you want to place more of an emphasis here, there, my recommendation to you, remember the big, right? Remember the big numbers. Focus on those. Make sure that you're hitting those portions and then if you need to, come back and uh, rectify the other elements later. All right. Absolutely. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I want you to do something. I want you to work on your real life um, challenges, right? Work, get that statement out. Get that credit card statement out. Look at it. You do the math on that credit card. You do the math on that line of credit. You do the math on that home equity line of credit. You know how much you owe. You know your balance. Okay? You know your credit limit. Do the division. And say, okay, all right, I'm 40% on my credit utilization. I gotta, I gotta make that, make that go below 30. So I can get this credit score up. So I can get more properties. <laughs> Absolutely. Folks, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.